So Valorant have been facing a lot of backlash following the nerfs they've made to Chamber, with a lot of people saying that they're turning him into a duelist, which is definitely true, but I want to explain why this is a good thing. First off, let's take a look at what Riot considers to be a Sentinel. A Sentinel is a defensive expert who can lock down areas and watch flanks both on attacker and defender rounds. And as the developers have said in an AMA, there are many ways Sentinels can control and defend space, whether it's through the use of reactive slow abilities like Sage, flank watching gadgets like Cypher, or defensively oriented movement abilities and weapons like Chamber. It seems like a lot of the players in the community are fixated on the idea though that a Sentinel must have flank watching gadgets like Cypher, and that alone is what makes them a Sentinel, that they need to have some sort of ability that can just sit there and watch the flank, passively getting information for you and your team about whether or not you need to look behind you. But that's not what a Sentinel is, at least not completely. For one, Sage does not have any of these flank watching type abilities, which again, just goes to show a Sentinel is more than just flank watching, and Sage uses reactive slow abilities to reinforce held territory and lock down areas for a team. Now, not only does Chamber introduce this new way of being a Sentinel with his defensively oriented movement abilities and weapons, but he also has flank watching gadgets. So you can see how this one character is just doing too much. He already has his own strengths with his teleport and holding angles with his weapons, but his trademark ability made Cypher and Killjoy's flank watching pretty much redundant because why would you pick either of those characters when you can just play a better version of them with Chamber? With this change though, Chamber is able to maintain his strengths, again, his teleport and his weapons, while also being moved further away from Kildra and Cypher. So now he's no longer filling the same role as them, his strengths are much more defined, and mind you, I still think Chamber is going to be strong with his teleport and weapons, probably still the best Sentinel in the game, but we'll wait and see on that. People are saying that having one less trademark charge makes Chamber less of a Sentinel, which is absolutely true. It's one of his defensive base abilities being made weaker, so it's less of a sentinel. But this is just because he was too good of a sentinel in the first place, so of course they're making him weaker. People need to realize though that his other abilities, other than his trademark, help him be a sentinel too. His teleport allows you to hold aggressive angles and teleport back to safety the second things go wrong, and because of this, you can be that passive flank watching tool passively gaining information because you can have so much map control by being able to teleport across the site every 20 seconds. It's pretty insane. And that's not even mentioning his weapons. The normal operator is already considered to be better on defense anyway, so then you add in a faster fire rate, more consistent damage, and a slow field on every kill, and you get the perfect tool to lock down areas just like a Sentinel is meant to. Now, people are saying that Riot are turning Chamber into a duelist, which partially is true, and I want to use Viper as an example of why this is a good thing. Viper is considered by many to be a hybrid between the controller and Sentinel classes, because not only does she have the smokes of a controller, they also deal damage to you, which helps lock down the areas even more, alongside her mollies and ultimate. Additionally, KO and Sky can be considered hybrids of initiators and duelists, since they have initiated tools, but especially with their flashes can enter onto a site, much like a duelist. So, similarly to Viper, KO and Sky, Chamber is now moving into his own hybrid class of Sentinel and Duelist, and this nerf to his trademark accentuates that. He can use both his teleport and his powerful weapons to seek the first engagements and find kills, much like a Duelist can, but like I said earlier, he can also use his teleport and powerful weapons effectively as a Sentinel. So with all that in mind, I think these changes to Chamber are great, and hopefully people will start to realize that he is still very much a Sentinel, and he does definitely have traits of a Duelist too, but like I mentioned, this gives more room for Killjoy and Cypher, because before, Chamber was just too good at everything. Personally, I I still think Chamber is going to be one of the strongest agents in the game even with this change, but we'll wait and see how the meta shapes up over the next few weeks with these changes.